very good evening to you good afternoon good morning depending on where you are joining us from and you are warmly welcome to the power impact series show proudly brought to you by the african season speakers network where we influence the next generation of africans and then as that matter influence the next generation of young people wherever you can find yourself in the world my name is ambassador benjamin ozuanza and it is always a lovely and a wonderful time having you here on the power impact series show this show it's been made possible by Hard Charger. Ah, and then others that are coming up whilst we will show them all during the show. Today is going to be a wonderful day for us, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy yourself today. You're going to learn a lot of wisdom nuggets from the show because in our studio is a wonderful guest that you want to love to listen to over and over again. And hey, it's going to be a wonderful day. Were you here last week? Did you enjoy last week's program? If you did, yeah, yeah. Let's get into the chat area and let's push up some stuff in there. What were the hashtags you took from last week? And what are the hashtags you expected to have from today's show? <laughs> it's going to be a wonderful thing. So let's do it this way. Let's get into the chat area. Let us know who is online with us. Let us know who is joining us. Let us know. Who is around with us and let the vibe keep flowing let me know where you are joining or connecting us from share with us where you're connecting us from let us know your name and where you're connecting us from and then from there we keep zooming to our discussions for today get on board today don't just be an audience just be sit today be part of the discussion because it's a wonderful topic we are going to discuss today so before we do that we want to just quickly take our first because it's a short break and right after that, we'll do the introduction of our guest, and then from there, we hit. So stick around, share the page, let others also come and join what you're going to discuss today. Need a spark to kickstart your innovation? Looking for thoughts and talks to get things moving? Wondering how to navigate a future full of change and uncertainty? With the eye-opening stories of digital disruption, extreme customer centricity, Organizational innovation and global shift, a collective of speakers, MCs, and moderators will shift your perspective. Meet our speakers for booking and interviews. Contact us on 0246-054092 or send us a mail info.absesnet at gmail.com. You can also follow us on all social media channels at AfsesNet Global, African Season Speakers Network, influencing the next generation of Africans. Influencing the next generation of Africans, we are on the Power Impact Series show. Kindly share the link so others can also join us. Share the link, share the link so that people can join us. And also, get into the chat area, let us know who is online with us, let us know who is connecting with us, and let's keep the vibe rolling and flowing. And then it's going to be a very good time today on the Power Impact Series show. Right, so we're going to just do an introduction of <laughs> of our guest today like the page share the page let others also join and let's have a wonderful time today right so who is in here okay i have bob Baden in here he said i am here oh yes i can see that you are here <laughs> so bob share the page let others also join let others also join <laughs> who is in there too but what are you saying what is bob saying again <laughs> Bob says what? Watching with my wife inside Soul Room all the way in Ghana. Thank you so much, Bob and the wife, and thank you for joining us. Let's share the page. Let I just also join. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Right, Abba now. We are going to introduce to us our special guest for today. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> I like to say that I am someone life has given many reasons to give up. Yet, I chose not to. From growing up away from my immediate family because my parents were separated and my mom couldn't show that the responsibility of caring for nine children yeah, you had me right, nine children. 
not losing and then losing my mom at the age of eight. It should be the toughest thing I have had to deal with. And that fostered my tenacity. I'm the last of nine children, but because of what happened, I became the first child of my auntie who adopted me fully after the death of my mom. I didn't have everyone or I didn't have every one of my test books made available, but I graduated as the best student in my class in high school. I had to wait a year before applying for college. In that one year, I became computer literate. I studied applied biochemistry at Namdi Azikiwe University. Mm. Akowa, Nigeria. <laughs> My Nigeria people, forgive me, but come into the chat here. Let me know the right pronunciation of it. I graduated with 2.1 and a top five in my class. My one year of youth service saw me volunteering for SDGs. I experienced a lot of limitations and managed to scale through the one year on schedule. I am a tough person. Oh, yes. She is a tough person. <laughs> Several months of job seeking pushed me into administrative roles and subsequently my desire to get into the online space and do better for myself. In one year, I have grown so much in learning and having gained employable skills. But I chose to be a freelancer because I love to have a level of control over my time. I am now a copywriter with an interest in helping CEOs and founders of small and large businesses increase their revenue twice what they did in the past month. I'm very much interested in sales and marketing, women empowerment, and climate change. I have seen people stop their journey halfway because of the very many obstructions they have had to deal with. I need people to read about me and find reasons to stay motivated. I have two children and a home to run to, but I am not letting any of that return. I wasn't born with a silver spoon, but I'm making one for myself and several other people that depend on me. I have a simple philosophy and life. And this is her philosophy. If you do not try, how do you know it won't work? Question mark. I need someone to pick that and run with it. You are no more limited than you limit yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready, just as I am ready, and for the very first time on the Power Impact series, there's no other person than the one with that philosophy, which says, if you do not try, how do you know it won't work? Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the Power Impact series platform for the very first time, Madame Lucy Indubisi, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing, Lucy? <laughs> Hello, Benjamin. I'm fine. I'm fine. How you are you? You should be fine. You should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, right. you really got a tough skin. Right. Mm. You are the eighth. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, I'm the ninth. I'm actually you are the, the ninth. ninth. So you're the last one. Yeah, I'm the last one. I'm the last child. 
آدم میکنه پمپایی دیس Why going up? I thought I was going to have everything as the last child. So I had this, this entitlement, this sense of entitlement. But uh-huh. then when reality struck, I knew I had to, I had to mm. run my race. <laughs> <laughs> you had to run and pump by yourself. <laughs> uh-huh. Wow, wow, wow. Uh-huh. That's good. That's good. That's good. But how's Lagos? How's Lagos? Tell us something. You know, Lagos hey. is fine. Lagos is sunny. Lagos is busy. Ah, that's it. You know, <laughs> a tough time, a, a tough town where you find yourself. In. Wow, that's good. We, we love that Nigerian spirit, and especially when you are in Lagos. Yeah, you. If you don't even have it, someone will have to borrow it to you. To use it. <laughs> Either buy or you borrow. <laughs> Either buy or you borrow. Right, wow, right. Wow, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. So we read a lot about you. Oh, we just read some about you. But okay. You are here today. We want to hear from you. Who is Lucy in the Hmm. Lucy in the is. Uh, she's just a simple human trying to figure out things i'm still figure out like we don't have we don't have it all figured out so okay. at one stage in your life you're still trying to figure out things so i don't know who will say that i've have it all figured out i guess um figure out things figuring out things and learning stops when you're dead so once you're alive you just have to keep learning you have to keep finding that thing you need to keep seeking new ways to develop mm-hmm. yourself and seeking for things that work out so yeah after the lockdown it was during the lockdown i was pregnant for my first child during the lockdown and, so, so it's a know, baby <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> right so during that period i i was just home and I didn't know what next to do because I was just, we just had to stop working all of a sudden. Although I was planning to resign and even while planning to resign, I wasn't, I wasn't making any plans. I didn't have, like, I didn't know what to do next. Okay. I just knew I was going to become a mom. But what do I do after, after giving birth? Like, where do I start from? What do I do? I was I was clueless. That's the reality. And then three months after childbirth, it hits me like I was fell into depression. I was frustrated. I was like, what's happening? Is this how I'm going to be? Is this what's going? Is this what it's about? Like just stay home, carry child, <laughs> then cook, take care of the house, breastfeed oh, baby, wash and you know, the life was becoming very unbearable for me. And I'm someone that loves to work. I love to, I love to work. Like, I need to, I love to sort my bills. Like, I'm not this, I've never been totally dependent, dependent on somebody. So when, when I found myself in that situation, I was like, no, I can't deal completely with this. And even if I have everything provided, at least I still need to be sure that, yes, I'm contributing, no matter how tiny, no matter how small. Yeah. And then I moved into learning how to bake. (laughs) I became a baker. And then I found out that, no, the online space is where I want to be. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to go out looking for jobs. I don't want to. I don't want to have to jump Lagos bus because that's one of the toughest things people do in Lagos. You wake up by three a.m. You get to work around. You leave your house four a.m. five a.m. You probably get to work around eight a.m. and then you return to the house, say twelve midnight, and you sleep for just two hours, three hours, and then you are off. That's not life. So when I realized that people can make living online, I said, yeah, this is for me. This is for me. And 
along the line, I realized that, yes, there are several people struggling with this. Motherhood is tough. It's really tough, for, especially for young people these days. I've had people come to me and they're like, Lucy, I see you're doing well. You've gotten into this online space. Please, how do I? And sometimes when you tell them what to do, and they be like, ah, it's hard. <laughs> and that's, that's the problem. We all feel like these things are difficult. So you don't start. You look at it and you be like, how will I be doing this? I have children. I have other things to do. Like, how do I manage all of this? It becomes difficult for you. Like, you see it as bulky thing that you can't even get a food. Don't know how to step into it. And that is it. You just become, they become complacent with where they are. And right. it's, it's a terrible thing because some of them, some of the women that suffer this not because they don't know um or they don't they don't they don't they're not intellectually stable or maybe they are not they're incapacitated but most of them they they missed that opportunity okay or probably they totally dependent on their husband right. and somewhere we know we pray for life but then sometimes life happens too Right. And the man might just suddenly die. And then the woman becomes, she starts suffering. Right. A whole lot of them have encountered a whole lot. Some people come to me and I, I encountered one a few days ago. And I'm like, now, there is more to let. There is, there's a reason that is, like, women need to know, need to understand that. Aside being a mother, you should also build for those children. So that is... That is what Lucy, that is who Lucy is now. That person that is encouraging women to do more for themselves. Okay. Yeah, you don't you don't have to just be a mother. You need to be more than just a mother. Yeah. Okay. You don't just need to be a mother, you need to be more than a mother. All right. So so how did you get into the space, into the online space? What did you see? that motivated you to get to after after learning uh, <laughs> okay after learning baking i was getting like small small jobs you know i had my first child before i did my wedding so i okay. i baked my wedding cake okay oh, but then wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish i was there seeing how you were cutting your own wedding cake <laughs> my, <laughs> my mc was like when he was calling people, the, the baker, like there is this tradition in Nigeria where they call the baker to kind of talk about the cake and the design. And when I stood up, he was like, wow, no wonder the cake is so big. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So after learning that, I took up one of as in very few jobs and then things be, things started changing. The cost of okay. things in the markets were changing, and people are not. I don't know what this what they see cake as. When you tell somebody the price of a cake, and they feel like it's too much. It's not just flour. You just mix flour, and then <laughs> and then you give it out. And I'm like, wow, really? Maybe you just buy this flour and mix yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it got to that point and then one day i was just online one of my classmates sent me a message and i was like lucy have you heard about affiliate marketing and i'm like yes as a matter of fact i was an affiliate for one um e-commerce store but i had to stop because i wasn't making much from it the commission was so small and you know so he told me that, okay, this program, if you can purchase the course to teach you about affiliate marketing and all of that. So I was like, okay, okay, I think I'll give this a shot. And I went for it and I started making money from it. Like, <laughs> you know, the first time I got, well, the moment I started getting a lot from affiliate marketing, I started wanting more. I still wanted more. I wanted to. I wanted to specialize on one skill that 
that are really high in demand. And that was how I broke into the online space. And yeah. And yeah. Now I'm a yeah, copywriter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we want to find out who is a copywriter. Well, what is copywriting? I mean, well, copywriting <laughs> is simply writing to sell. You know, when people hear the first, actually, the first time I heard about copyrights, I thought about book. You know that that <laughs> symbol. That <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so, and that's actually what people think when they hear about copywriting, but. Right. Copywriting is simply writing to sell. It could be in form of Facebook ads, like the content that comes with the Facebook ad, that's a piece of copy. Then it could be emails. There are emails that, most emails just have, want you to buy something. It may not be immediately, it may not be immediately, but then sometime you just, they have to tell you to buy something. So that is copywriting. Then there are landing pages, websites. That when you get to websites, everything that you see on the website, that's um, a copy. So that is what copywriting is just writing to sell. It's not just content. Content writing is probably you may just be writing to inform people. But when you say you're a copywriter, your basic, your major target and your goal is to sell something selling something so that is it it's it's that simple it's the, aside the fact that when you want to dive into it there are several aspects to it you have to learn the basis you have to learn the formulas you need to learn the tricks you need to learn the emotions and all of that because people have to before people can bring our money to give to you <laughs> you need to strike a chord <laughs> You need to learn how to strike that chord. So that is what copywriting is. Oh wow! So yeah, yeah, you've cleared that. You've cleared that for us because copyright. Uh, once I saw it, or uh, once people see copyright, they're like, "Is it like patent or stuff on the book?" All oh, that stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So it's good. All right, let me just give some shout out to people that has joined us online here. So I have in here hello Ajololo. She says something, something. Do you too? That is yeah. Take your two. Give me some. So high up in there, and then uh, Bob says, hey, please share the link. Uh, traditional dance says, that's Abigail. Babe. God bless you, Bob. And Bob comes again to give a lot of clap. And then, hey, Garcia, Josie, he says, well done, thumbs up. Stephen says, joining you from South Africa. And then uh, Plunge back says, exactly right. Thank you all for joining. Let's share the page. Let others also join us and get in there once you get online. Let us know who is online and let's share the vibe. Let's share the vibe because we are in here with the copywriter, Lucy, <laughs> who is all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. Right. So he was just telling us something about herself. And hey, let me tell you a secret about it. You know something? She baked her own wedding cake. <laughs> all right. So diving into our topic for today, a better way to deal with mother. So with your spirit, what are some of the better ways we can deal with motherhood, taking into consideration all the turbulent times that we are in or that people are going through now? How does one deal with motherhood in a better way? Okay. Um, motherhood is, is a lot. I love to tell people this. Like, when I see single people and I'm like, if you're going to get married, if you're planning to get married, you need to reserve a lot of energy for motherhood. <laughs> because it's a lot. Your patience will be tried, like every aspect of you will be tried. Right. So I was tried, I was tried. Like, there are days I wake up and I just sit down and cry. I just cry. <laughs> I just cry like this whole thing is too much for me. Like, how do I go about this? Then I figured out that one thing, one thing that makes um motherhood a whole lot of more as in it's it's tougher for most people 
when you just you're just focusing on being a mom and then you're not you're not thinking of other aspects you're not thinking about yourself that's the truth the moment you stop thinking at least a little about yourself you start seeing it as so much so much to do first of all like hey the one thing one thing i like to tell people is you need to stop um you need to kiss a uh, mom guilt goodbye i started that this year like throughout my throughout um my first child when she was she's she's two years plus now like for one good year i didn't go anywhere i was okay. just at home no events nothing like i was just home taking care of my child oh. i just like i just do little of my business and then when i became pregnant with my second child i stopped entirely i stopped entirely i didn't go anywhere then this year i had to i had to rethink i had to rethink a lot of things and this is the reason why i've decided to to keep sharing with women especially mothers you don't have to limit yourself because you are a mom right. the moment you understand that yes you also have a life to live it becomes easy for you now there are several things you can do you okay initially i had i had this like my circle of people i wasn't meeting new people so i wasn't learning anything i was just there but the moment i decided to start reaching out to people i came on i think for 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 almost one year i wasn't using facebook like i left facebook too so but then I decided that, yes, if I'm going to be online, I need to be online fully. So right. eventually I started coming out. So you see several women, they don't use, the moment they give birth, you stop seeing them online. Like they just, they probably just post picture, maybe during celebration, or maybe child dedication, you know, those kind of thing. Like once yeah. in a while, once in a while and they post pictures so they are like they just want to be or well, it's just me and my child right but then the first thing i feel every woman needs to do the first step to handling motherhood well is to first of all start thinking about yourself okay. if you have um a plan if you know that um you need a better future not just for yourself too for the for your children you know when the bible um proverbs 31 talks about um the virtuous woman a virtuous woman is not just the one that like, there is a lot of qualities of the virtuous woman there there is there is the quality of when you wake up you wake up um, early in the morning and then you prepare food for the family for the children and then women forget that point where the bible also said that this virtuous woman like she supports her husband and makes sure that he's not poor mm. now um a woman that's not doing anything if anything happens to your husband's income that's poverty so <laughs> So when you start thinking of the future, when you start thinking of ways to establish yourself, ways to develop yourself, you start seeing that a lot of things you're holding on to and feeling like these things are your responsibility, you start seeing reasons to delegate them. You know, some people feel like if you don't wash, you're being lazy. That, it doesn't make any sense. If you don't clean the house, you're being lazy. No. Like if you have um the, I read a book and it's, there is nothing more money cannot do for you. Yeah. If you have money to be able to sort out these things, you see that they are nothing. I mean, there are people that are there to do this manual labor so they can earn a living. Now, yeah. 
if you are making uh, money, if you are thinking about your future, if you're developing yourself, you wouldn't have time to start budging about these things. You yeah. give them out. And then you see that you have a lesser work for yourself. Like all of these things you're seeing that are, um, that are heavy load on you, they begin to reduce. When you see that, no, no, I'm not the one washing these clothes. <laughs> these clothes, <laughs> someone can wash them for me. Yeah, that is out the house. Okay, yes, you have to cook. Yeah, like right. every man wants the wife to cook. <laughs> I wouldn't a gentleman here. Everyone, I every man wants the wife to cook. Where are you coming to the chat area? Let me feel it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I, I, I think this one, this one, this one. Uh, this lady will support you that Yvonne Sasuvila, <laughs> all the way from Kenya. I think you will support what Lucy is saying. <laughs> and then uh Shalita Sanders, thank you for joining us all the way from the USA. He says happy Sunday, everyone. And then uh Abigail Bote Anani says, keep up the good work, all the way from Ghana. All right, keep it coming in, keep it coming. So Lucy, every husband loves the wife. Too. Mm, let's go. <laughs> okay, so um, I was talking about um, thinking about yourself as a mother. You you need um, you need to you need to do better for yourself. When I mean doing better, like there is a whole lot of motherhood that you already know. You already know that you are supposed to take care of children. You already know you're supposed to take care of your home. You already know they are supposed to care for your family. But do you know that you're supposed to care for your future? Do you know that you're supposed to develop yourself? Like, there are, if, if, if a survey should be carried out, I think there should be um, 80% of the women that are just, that are just home doing nothing. They just want to take it, and and it becomes frustrating. It becomes frustrating because the, no matter um no matter how much you try to hide it, deep down it becomes frustrating. Like when you have to go to your husband for everything, for everything, even like even to the tiniest thing, it's very frustrating. And I wouldn't want. I don't know who wants that life. I don't know. <laughs> I actually tell people that motherhood is 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 a lot. It's a full time job, and if anyone decides to be paid for it, it's, it's nothing. Yeah. But not me, not <laughs> me. And I wouldn't encourage anybody to just okay, just have your title of motherhood, and then you're getting paid for it. People get paid for it. They pay them salary, but to what extent? There is there's fulfillment in working. I don't know. I don't, they, there is this fulfillment you get when you're doing something you love. And even if it doesn't make you like too much money, like this whole lot of money, but then there is this fulfillment you get from it. So it's that fulfillment that helps you navigate motherhood freely. It gives you an opportunity to step out of your comfort zone. It gives you an opportunity to learn, unlearn and relearn like you just keep learning because you you get to meet people recently it was this year i decided i was going to attend conferences i was going to attend meetings i was going to attend um social activity and god helped me i i just got on linkedin and i started seeing programs events that hold the, like two was hosted in lagos i volunteered for one i attended the both of them and i met new people right. there's people you learn from you know that yes yeah, these people are women too they are mothers and they've been they're making that paving ways for themselves they are in like tech a lot of women have broken into tech and they are making a whole lot for themselves, paving ways for themselves, not just for themselves, but also for their children. Because with the skills I have, I tell people that with the skills I have, I'm not sure my my children will not finish um, high school before they start making money. Because I make sure you get, I don't have, to, you don't have to wait for anybody to give you a job. You start from the young age. I read, I read a post, and the woman was talking about 
how she took her children to sell with that with her and they just sold two book and the boy was like mom let's go home we've made enough money <laughs> <laughs> and and then she used the um the profit to buy ice cream and that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's the world yeah. they don't care <laughs> whatever they want you have to give to them and it's right. to be sad when your child asks you for ice cream and then you have to say oh wait for your dad because you're not you're not making money mm -hmm. so i feel like the see the most um, when 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 it's been analyzed the most problem in marriages are contributed by lack of money when a woman would say i need um in nigeria you need um fifty thousand and you're giving twenty thousand. That's problem because you feel like this can't sort on my, like it's not half of it. The economy is bad. What would this do for me? Like, it causes a lot of problem. But when you ask for fifty thousand and you're giving twenty, and you know that oh, I have my money, I can, I can supplement. Like a lot of problem goes down. When you want to um, take care of your children, you don't have to always wait to ask. Your, I know there are people, like, every responsible man knows he has to take care of his children. But then there are times that, there are, there are times that he may not be there, he may not be available at that point in time, and you have to take care of some things. Then one, more, one thing is, especially when the man um, eats no more, a lot of women are suffering from that. Like, you you see them i've 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 seen a situation where the man where the man was alive they were enjoying they were having fun living a good life and the moment the man died and they start from zero one the woman does not even like she wasn't she didn't um have an idea of the kind of business the husband was doing she was just home has was just to take care of the children and then spend money and then when when the tragedy struck there was no more money money wasn't coming in from anywhere and they had to go back to the village and started from the square one i know most of the time this is one nollywood portrays but it happens in reality <laughs> the truth is that women don't learn from this thing and i feel like there is there is need to keep saying it sure. to keep saying it aside the fact that you better children and you're taking care of them take care of your their future and your own the moment you start taking care of your future you are also taking care of your children now another way you can navigate a motherhood is to self-care care about yourself too care about yourself too that is yes you being a mom does not mean you should be lost 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 in it all when you start caring about yourself you start going out you start and um, can you start learning new skills like i keep i tell women this day that the online okay i was listening to something and um, to some video or youtube video yesterday and the man said something and i i quite agree with he said that if women know like the online spaces for them to break into that is <laughs> the women because they spend a lot of time at home the fact that you spend a lot of time at home means that you should have at least maybe you dedicate two three hours a day to this online space and see you you can't be let you they like women wait till they have an abundance of money to probably open a supermarket or a store or a big business but all you need these days to open a business online is a laptop and a good network connection a good internet connection and then you have you have your business set online so this is self-care when you start learning self-care you care for every other aspect of your life emotionally financially spiritually physically like all around every mother needs to understand this then another one is sharing responsibility i said it before <laughs> You are not the only one. You are not supposed to kill yourself with all of the house chores 
just to be a good mother. <laughs> Learn to delegate, delegate things. Give it out. Find people. Make things easier for yourself. You did not come to this life to kill yourself because she's a mother. Right, let me take this one from a quick one from Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell says, visionary minds at work. True wealth begins from motherhood. Men, we make the headlines, but the details is about them. God bless you, champion. Ah, hello. Ah, Jelolo says, it is fulfilling for a woman to work. Thank you, sister. And then Stephen comes in again and says, as of now, some women think that a man must provide everything for the family as she sits at home taking care of all the of all the kids or taking care of all of them ah ah ah, ah. wow that's something else hey 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 it's getting good in here and if you hear any sound in there that is a mother for you it's a mother that is talking to you it's a mother who had work in there and thank you so much lucy we want to take a quick commercial break and then right after that we'll let lucy continue with what she's discussing about. Stay around, don't go anywhere. Thank you. Need a spark to kickstart your innovation? Looking for thoughts and talks to get things moving? Wondering how to navigate a future full of change and uncertainty? With the eye opening stories of digital disruption, extreme customer centricity, organizational innovation and global shift our collective of speakers mcs and moderators will shift your perspective meet our speakers for booking and interviews contact us on 0246-054092 or send us a mail info.afsesnet at gmail.com you can also follow us on all social media channels at afsesnet global african season speakers network influencing the next generation of africans Influencing the next generation of Africans and for that matter, our young people globally. Thank you for joining us. Yes, you are back on the Power Impact series when today we are having a Lucy in BBC talking to us about dealing a better way of dealing with mother. Oh, yes, you can see it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can see it surely there. That's Lucy for you dealing with motherhood for us. Yes, so thank you all for joining us. <laughs> How are you doing? Yes, we've captured your mother this evening. Don't worry, that's good. Yes, she's telling her how to deal with you best way. And thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for the messages that are coming in. And Rashid Sakite Kiwa says, please, will you encourage women to be housewife in the name of they wanting to take care of their children at home? So yeah, we're going to keep this question. <laughs> Because she's going to dive in there and she's going to answer that question for you, Rashi. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for coming on. So, as you see, we just want to be wrapping up shortly with Lucy. And uh, she will just continue with her point she was raising or she was up to. And then uh, she will give us some final words for the day. And then uh, we can come in with our questions. So, you can start letting your questions come in for Lucy. Right, Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, all right. Thank you very much, Benjamin. Um, the last point, the the point I was raising was sharing responsibility. I already said it. Thank like, you. You don't have to do it all. Help yourself. And this happens like when you when you are when you start working, you know that um, I can afford to delegate all of this to people then you start delegating duties it helps you it gives you um a level of freedom <laughs> and then the last one um living in the moment you know um sometimes when people um some women feel like i can't i can't start anything because um i've i've stayed years without doing anything most times they don't even know where to start and they feel like and even when they start they feel like things should um should be should just like you know it doesn't happen that way things doesn't just start working working the way you want it takes time growth growth is sequential it takes time 
hospital and if you have um a growth mindset you know that um things does not happen once and if you can't seem to figure it out at the first mm -hmm. instant you don't have to give up you have to keep working you have to put in the effort and then you need to take it a step at a time you can't start now and you're thinking about 10 years time. Start oh. now and take it gradually from here. That, that way it will help you. Yeah, and um, because I said, um, <laughs> you know, this not because um, Lucy said you should um, learn to work, um, learn to support your family and then you decide to um, neglect your children. You know, these things, the, the, you just have to find a way to balance this. Right, right. Don't, don't cry. We're Sorry. here with you. Oh, we are here with you. It, it's a better way of dealing with motherhood. <laughs> right, I just have in here. <laughs> Kola not says, I can see your virtual assistant's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm God. telling you, and she's, you she's helping me with the keyboard. <laughs> ah, I tell you, uh, you need someone that says growth is certainly sequential, and that is powerful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right, right, right. So, you, you wanted to take this question and let's see how best we can. Um, I think if you've, you've, okay. you've actually um tackled it already, it, um. Rashid was saying, please, will you encourage women to be housewives in the name of they wanting to take care of their children at home? Uh, I think you've already been a bit about that. Yeah, you have all the time yeah. to go online and learn a lot of stuff to support. In a way. lot of skills. You have a lot of time. Like The fact that you are home should give you, um, um is something you should leverage on. It gives you a time. It gives you a, like, it's, you are just one step forward. Like, yeah. there are skills you develop, and when you, when you start earning a living from it, your husband will be shocked. Like, when did you just start doing all of this? Because the truth is, you don't, you don't need uh, millions of money. You don't need millions. You don't need um, millions of naira, thousands to do this thing. Once you have access to the internet, once you have a phone, you have a laptop, you can, you can just delve into. There is freelancing, like there is affiliate marketing, there is e-commerce. There's just a whole lot any woman can do online. Writing has been paying people. The content we see online, this is, this, people pay heavily for it. And once you are able to just pick up one skill and focus on as a woman, like, and give it your all, it will only take you time. One year, two years, and you are stable on it. And then you have a way to support yourself and your family. Recently, there is one, one lady I started following. I started following her this year on LinkedIn. She's, she's also on Facebook. And when when she shared her story with me, I was I was marveled. I was impressed. Like from three months ago, she started teaching people. She does A and Airbnb. That's what she does online. Arbitrage. So she has been for the past three months, she's been training people. That she does not even totally depend right now on the on on upwork or the money she makes from freelancing the money she makes from training people is enough to sustain her and this was something she picked passionately and then found out that this thing can also be done online and then she some of the skills some of the things we are interested in right now can be also can also be done online and that alone it's something um everyone should leverage especially women I do not as in, my it's it's my hope that in the next in the coming year by by 2050 there shouldn't be a woman that that is saying I'm a housewife and I'm not doing anything. It it shouldn't it shouldn't just exist. The fact that she a housewife is the reason why you should have something on the side. Being a housewife is not a job. 
it's it's <laughs> it's not it's not supposed to be like a job title it's not supposed to be a job title it's a job but it shouldn't be your job title find something to support it i would never encourage anybody no matter how young you are i can never encourage you to be a complete housewife a complete housewife. So maybe a partial one you do, but the partial one comes in with you doing <laughs> something on, <laughs> with something online, which will take that partiality to the full housewife kind of job activity. But then you can do something else. So uh, ah, so I hear and I see uh, Kola Not all the way from the northern part of Ghana saying things don't become or work overnight. It takes time dedication and perseverance these are the keys thank you so much lucy and that is it and plant parks also say men too have to support their wives yeah yeah sure <laughs> jules sure. jules garcia says my wife and i we are one i don't support her i support us mm. that's cool mm. that's good <laughs> right, so Jones, Jones Garcia and the wife ran a dental clinic in Accra. So wow, yeah, you you meet you, you meet wow, both of that's them. That's amazing. Them. You meet both of them in the dental clinic. Jones is doing the commercial, is doing the marketing, and then the wife Abina is managing the dental clinic. So <laughs> they support. Wow, that's super. <laughs> that's <good. laughs> I love that. I love yeah. that. Okay, Bob says, I think when both partners have values in life and bring it on the table, they both complement each other. For me, I don't believe in the housewife thing because I help us in doing all things. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so it's getting interesting here and it's lovely here. It's getting so beautiful thank you so much so that's music for you so what are your last words you want to share with us on our topic for today ah okay. a better way to deal with mother you 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 have you have some experience you want to share that <laughs> <laughs> it was quite an experience and the fact that it took me time don't know much time but i still feel like it took me time and that is why i'm trying to see that no matter where you are as a mom you can always begin do not see the fact that you have spent maybe six years doing nothing ten years doing nothing like i have i had i have a friend i recently met online she la about a few months ago she turned 50. Okay. i could not believe it <laughs> because she was looking so young she just started her journey online okay. and like she started her copywriting and freelancing she's an author and she started all of this this year and she's 50. Wow. so you see you've not lost anything yet as long as you're living you've not lost anything yet sure. I've seen yeah. authors that there are some of them I follow on YouTube and they are over 80. Wow. And they are still writing. <laughs> they are still doing things. Still going. And so I, yeah, they are still going. So no matter where you are, you can always start. And one thing, you know, we don't, we don't have the strength. It's, it's God that gives us the grace. And if you are a Christian, you believe in God, you need to constantly talk to God about it. Um, there, there is, um, Proverbs 31 is always my reference um, scripture. There is, it, it has a whole lot embedded in it. Like if you follow it from verse 10, you see like, if you follow each verse of it from verse 10, it has a message, it's speaking to you as a woman. So aside the fact that you have your, your um your your duty as a mother as a wife you also have to you have a contribution to make to your husband financially because like times are too hard for just one person to shoulder all of the responsibilities 
So if you both of you are working together, it makes it a whole lot of easy. If both of you are bringing something, it makes it easier for you to be able to manage the home. So yeah, pray to God, ask for grace, and then start from where you are. Um, don't don't limit yourself. Do not limit yourself to any. Be open. One thing I've learned is a um, growth mindset. Be open to learning any and everything. Even if you feel like you don't need it at this point in time, it will help you. You, I tell people that being versatile is good because you don't know which we pay your bill. <laughs> so once you have the opportunity, please learn. Once you have the opportunity to learn, do so. Don't limit yourself. And utilize YouTube. Oh, God. I beg you, please use YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is a university. Like, you go there, you go to school, you graduate on YouTube. You just use your internet. And that is it. Those are my that final words. It helps. There's a hope. Someone will say, what motivates you and what keeps you going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, the <laughs> fact that I don't experience poverty, you know, do you know, do you know what poverty does to you? Like it shrinks you, it cages you, and then puts you as a, at the spot. Right. The fact that I do not want, like I, I, like I said in my bio, I wasn't born with a silver spoon, but then I'm doing my best to make sure that I. I get one for my children and then the people that depend on me. So, <laughs> and my husband, like, be a strong support to my husband. That motivates me. If, like, I don't know, I'll feel somehow, I feel somehow when my husband is the only one shedding all of the responsibility, I have nothing to contribute. And in future, my children have nothing to learn from me. I don't know, that would be, that would be total failure. So all of this motivates me. The fact that I already have children that I need to help, I need to teach the right things to do, especially when it comes to financial management. This motivates me. I think they <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry for the good part. We're back in here. We're back in here. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, what you, you were saying, that, hey, you don't want your children to lose anything by not learning anything from you. In yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is it. That is it. That's beautiful. Right. So thank you so very much. It has been a wonderful time having you here on the power impact series i'm 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 sure this is not going to be your first and last time you're definitely going to come back again because hey 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 yeah. we need to <laughs> we need to do a part two of this we need to dive deeper and further into this whole thing yes, yeah. yes, yes. all right so interesting we're back in here Jules. we're back back here so thank you so much let me hear and let me see any last comments that we have in here for lucy 
that before we do that i think our hashtag already should come give me the hashtag that you've been able to get for today let me have the hashtag that you've been able to take you can start dropping in your hashtag for today's episode yeah let me have your hashtag let me have yeah. so what you normally do is that we get hashtags for the episode so let me see what okay. people were able to get for today uh based on uh what they were able to gather okay let's see hmm who's having something in there who's having it hmm. all right so before i drop the hashtag elom ajololo says growth mindset god bless you a close mind cannot achieve anything an open mind always makes you appreciate the value of networking and exchanging great ideas for good oh my god yeah thank you so much hello <laughs> so let's see pa, 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 ra, pa. okay i have one in there one bob says parenting go and we also have in here the hashtag for today you can always start it doesn't matter when mm. you can always start always yeah start. that's <laughs> nice <laughs> okay hectora so is that be open be open yes keep the hashtags coming because everyone got something yes yeah charlie fast and says yes ah, we hit it in there, <laughs> there. mackenzie says nice one okay and bob comes in again and say you can always start you can always start doesn't matter where you are you can always start all right so a quick one before we go off so thank you so much lucy it's the water for time coming thank onto you. the power impasses all the way from lagos nigeria I, I, <laughs> I, I, I. and there's a wonderful time having you here we're definitely going to have you again very soon all right so thank you for joining and you know it sponsored of this 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 um section of this part is proudly brought to you by cyber bells you can come and go without having any cyber tips so today we have the cyber tips but what we're going to talk about today is dumpster diving attack so one may ask what is that dumpster diving attack so dumpster diving attack is a type of cyber attack made possible by searching through victims trash or a target's trash or trash bin now this is what the bad guys do what they're doing is that they go into your trash from your offices from your home and they are able to scan through it and pick certain things that you see as trash now some of these things that these people are able to pick from the 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 garbage can or the garbage bin are full numbers of family members sometimes you might write the family numbers or family members number on a sheet of paper on a sticky note on on a notepad and probably after you finish using it you just discard it or you throw it into the trash bin these bad guys can go in there and find the numbers of family members friends customers business associates from the trash bin they can also find in there access codes passwords written on papers or sticky notes or notepad that you just discovered them into the trash bins they can also find credit card and bank account details in the trash bin they can also find blueprints of product designs they can also get hold of a printed draft of business plans or mock-up pictures or ideas that you have or you've received or you've been able to imagine and then you've written them on papers they can find these things in your trash bin they can also make a way or see or find calendars to do lists of previous days of upcoming events of things you're planning to do in some months or in some days to come they can find them all in your trash bin and also they can find cds they can find dvds they can find other portable storage devices from your trash bins by you throwing them or putting them in the trash can they can go in there and you might think that it's a messy uh situation or a messy circumstance or but they will go in there and in that mess they can come up with something that they can use to hurt you or they can use to attack your organization or company sometimes you might find the wi-fi name and then the access code 
in there and they can use that one to attack the organization they can also sometimes find some vulnerable stuff in there that you might not have an idea about you might just have written it and after writing it you just use it for what you wanted to use for and after close of work you just dumped it in the trash bin. and once it's closed out these people go in there and they scavenge it through it they ransack through it they get these things they stick them back put them together and it becomes a meaningful weapon for them to use to attack you so waste ways and means to get rid of all these things happen or better ways to handle these things is better off you shredding all these pieces of papers than just folding them and throwing them in the trash bin. You can shred them all out and in that way it's going to become a bit difficult for these attackers to put them together and retrieve all the necessary sensitive information that they can use against you. They can come out from the trash bin with confidential documents that you might not have idea about. So the next time you think of doing that, throwing away that paper from your bags into your trash bin, shred it. And that will be a good point for you. Thank you so much for joining us. It has been a wonderful time on the show. It is a wonderful time having Lucy sharing with us better ways to deal with one Have a wonderful week. And as I always say, dreams are in levels. Make sure you get to the top level of your dream. So we'll meet same time next week. My name is Ambassador Benjamin Oswans, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Thank you for making time. See you same time next week. Have a wonderful